what is going on? So welcome to my channel. This is something that has never been posted on my uh, YouTube before. It's something I plan on possibly doing a few more. Mind you, uh, disregard my face. I'm I, When I'm normally just calm and like had a long day, my face is very monotone. I'm not necessarily smiling. I am happy, but every once in a while we get bad cases where there's bad riders. And this is one case that happened today. At this point, I am pretty annoyed with what's going on. So there was a couple messages sent to me by the person uh, prior to arriving. And it's the people that I'm picking up aren't the people that own the account, somebody else's account. Came up to this guy that was kind of just like walking around, his hands were spray painted silver. Like, so either he was just spray painting, maybe huffing paint, not gonna make judgments on this. You can make your own. In the video, you'll see, I'll like slow it down so you can see and point out his hands are silver. And it looks like the girl's right hand is silver. Didn't really have any paint on them or anything like that. I mean, he kind of had some stuff on him, but. So I pulled up, the guy was just kind of weird. And as you'll see, I asked him, trying to find out if these are my riders or this is this just a local drug person that's trying to get a ride. There was a, a note that said, please find so-and-so. So I responded back, they're gonna need to find me because I'm not sure where they are, nobody's here. I hope you uh, enjoy. Not all uh, rideshare rides are, are like this. It's very few and far between, but um, watch. Can I help you? Can I help you? What? What? Oh uh, no, we called a lift. We didn't know it was What's your name? Okay, what? What's the name? Are you waiting for someone right now? Yeah. Yeah. It's What's the name? He's coming back out right now. I just know it's some old guy's name. I, I don't know. I need a name, so. Oh my gosh.
buy it and I put it in and it says it's not applicable apple, apple or whatever and then it says it's already been um, put to the account and it's not. So I, and there's no refund. So I literally just like $50 for everything. Yeah, call the place. Well, they get at the Walgreens, they're like, there's no refund. Spray paint left paint on my on my seat. 
Hey, you guys left your spray paint sprayed on my seat. Come over here and look at it. I have it on film, so it's right here. I can't hear you, so I mean, I can file a police report if you guys want to get real with it. You didn't have no anything? One, no, what? One, no one opened or nothing. Then it what's that? In, it was in a backpack. What's this? It, it was in a backpack. It must have went through the backpack. Okay. It was an accident. No one freaked Okay, so what are, what are we going to do about this? What, what do you want me to tell you? Can I, like, I okay, can't, I'll I just can't, ha I'll have the whoever's on the account get fined the 300 some odd dollars that it takes. Okay, and like I said, I will report that you were extremely with the full fucking Okay, time. that's fine. It's not your account. So. not come out all right so as you can see uh, there was a little hissing noise that you heard or you, you couldn't Ooh. hear um, in the car it was very faint and I was like what is that and I was like it sounded like a spray paint can was going off then I was just like man it's got to be spray paint I, ho I hope they aren't like filling a can and huffing it or something I had no idea then we get to the spot to drop them off it's obvious if you watch the beginning of the video and you watch the end of the video there's no spot on the seat as you see I tried to spray it tried to clean it it would not come off it, it it's a headache I had to literally take I took one last call for the day I was pretty much done I was only gonna do like two or three more calls anyways, but I was on the phone for 35 minutes. So uh, I just needed to get one call to fulfill my bonus for the weekend. And I got that done and then I came home and tried to figure out how I was gonna get it off. So I has yet to respond beyond my conversation with them. So I'm actually, when I get off the, when I get done with this, I'm going to call them, see if we can get it squared away and see if they're gonna cover anything cleaning wise so it's super annoying because it took time out of my day and last thing if you guys like the quality of the camera you can I will put a link below if you do buy it through there it's my Amazon affiliate link you buy it through there it gives me like a small little kickback like a couple bucks I think it's actually pretty good the inside is 720 and the in the outwards is 10 1080 I'm gonna look into getting a better version and still using these just on a different section of my van the more I look at this and the more I see how much people are moving and stuff and I'm not noticing it 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 kind of makes me rethink how the cameras are in the van and makes me want, honestly want one or two more so I can be a little bit more safe because you never know how people are going to be. You never know what's going to happen. Somebody could have a gun. Somebody could have a knife. Everybody be safe out there. Anyways, if you guys like this, let me know. If you didn't like it, let me know. Like the page, subscribe, leave some comments. Let me know how you guys feel. Yes, I know I looked annoyed the whole time, so you don't have to tell me. I was really tired. I am still really tired. At this point, I think it's pretty funny and just seeing my face, because I don't really watch these ever. I watch, like if something happens, I'll save it, kind of log it somewhere so I can go back to it if something happens. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Get a hold of me. Let me know if this is something you guys want to see more of. So thank you very much. Have a good day.